hey, thanks for joining me today. We're gonna get in and get this done real quick. We've got an eight minute workout. It's gonna be a HIIT style workout. So I want you to still add a lot of intensity to it because we're just gonna be doing low impact or no impact movements, but we wanna get your heart rate up, okay? So make sure that you're adding some intensity and I'll give you some ideas on how to do that. We're gonna work for 30 seconds with a 10 second break. We're gonna do four movements repeated three times. Super simple. Okay, so the first movement we're gonna do is just a simple knee repeater, all right? And so we're gonna plant our, our standing leg with our heel into the floor, lift up the chest, roll the shoulders back, and we wanna get a nice long reach. So the way you take a low impact or no impact movement and make it higher intensity is you can go faster, okay? The longer your reach with your arms or the bigger arm movement that you can bring, then the harder you're gonna work, the higher your heart rate. Okay, you're also gonna to wanna to bring that knee up in front of your hip, all right? So make it nice and square. I see a lot of people that like to do this cross. I want you to keep your knee forward, okay? Good. All right, we're gonna do the other side. Actually, no, we're gonna do a squat with a knee punch. So we're gonna drop, punch, drop, punch. Now, same thing. You can make this faster to add more intensity, okay? or you can slow it down, but then go deeper into the squat. Push and exhale out. Okay, and you'll still get your heart rate up either way. Good, keep going. Sit your butt back into a nice deep squat. Good, all right, come to center. We're gonna step to the side. We're gonna drop into a squat, sit back, center, squat, sit back from side to side. Here we go. Good, and again, you can add speed or you can add intensity by taking the movement lower. Okay, and another way is to make the arm movements bigger. So you can swing the side arm wider, drop your hips a little lower, See, I'm already getting my heart rate up. Woo, good. This next movement is gonna incorporate your core. So I want you to open the knees, open the toes, lift up the chest, roll the shoulders back, arms reach wide. We're just gonna do a windmill. Okay, again, I want you to start this movement kind of slowly, and then you can work your way up in speed. I'm not shifting my body side to side. I'm dropping my rib toward my hip. And that's where your focus is, keeping a nice long reach with your arms. If this bothers your back, you can modify by just taking your levers and making them a little shorter. Okay, good. All right, with all of these movements, keep that core in and tight to help support your back. All right, here we go. Plant that bottom foot. We're gonna do the other side for repeaters. Nice long reach. Remember, we're looking to get the heart rate up. Keep your core tight, keep that oblique nice and tight. Pull the knee up in front of your hip. If you need some support here, if you feel off balance, you can always hold the back of the chair or the back of the couch. All right, don't be afraid to take modifications modifications are good. It means you have room to make progress. All right, back to that knee punch. So squat, knee punch. This time I'm gonna add some intensity by going a little faster. Okay, but you can go nice and slow. Take your time with each part of the movement. This one does take a little bit of coordination. Pull that belly in, keep it nice and tight. Sit your hips back. Woo. Good, three more seconds. Good. All right, the side to side squat. So get nice and centered. Square up your posture, we're gonna step right and touch the floor. So drop down, center, down, center. Good, swinging the opposite arm nice and wide for just a little added intensity. Drop the hips down. Try to get almost as low as your knees if you can. If you can't sink that deep, 
that's okay. But you don't have to go all the way to the floor either. Okay? So modify this however you need. Woo! All right. We're off to a really good start. So we're gonna open wide, lift up the chest, open the knees, tuck the tailbone. So the one meal, I kind of want you to pretend like you're inside a toaster. Okay, and you're just gonna do this. So if I stick my butt out on my hands, I'm gonna get burned. So I wanna keep everything inside this plane, using my abs, using my glutes, to keep myself nice and steady. Woo, keep going. Nice. How many times did I say? Three times through, right? So we got one more set. This time I'm gonna break up the knee repeaters. 15 seconds on one side and then 15 on the other. So can we go a little faster? Let's see if we can fit the same amount of repeaters into that first 15 seconds. Good, we're almost there. Two, one, switch. Woo! Good, really reach. Just because you're going faster doesn't mean that you skip out on getting that full range of motion. All right. Woo! All right. Squat, knee push. So again, I'm gonna go for a little more speed this time and I'm gonna go for depth. So let's get low. Adding that little bit of military breath with a sharp exhale. It's gonna help engage those abs even more. Woo! So even if you're going slow, add that breath. Come on, finish. Three, two, give me one more. Ding! Good job, woo! Feels so good. All right, side squat. Drop low. So not any of the movements that we've done so far have been high impact. None of it is really hard on your joints. Everything can be modified even further, right? So if you can't go as deep even with these squats, you're staying up high, you're still working hard. Woo! Give me a couple more. One, two, and you're almost there. One more movement and our eight minutes is up. Can you believe how fast that goes? Roll the shoulders back, tuck that tailbone, activate your core. Remember, the focus is in the ribs to the hips, rather than I see a lot of people that like to kind of do this, right? We really wanna work that trunk, those glutes, woo! Good, come on, come on, stay with me. Yeah, you did it, you're done. Give me just a moment. I'm gonna stretch you for about 30 seconds. All right, so a little quad. You're welcome to just start this from the beginning and do it three more times. You'll get a great workout, 16 minutes, done and done, get your shower and go start your day. So you did great today, give me a big reach and exhale. We'll see you next time.